The federal government of Nigeria has moved to get two Indian businessmen, Jatindra Mantora and Satyan Mantora, back to Nigeria to face trial on alleged irregularities in the $25 million project. The move followed the failure of the father and son, who are the chairman and managing director of a company, Transformers and Rectifiers Limited, to honor an invitation from the Nigeria police force to respond to a petition accusing them of wrongdoing. This is three years after a Nigerian law firm petitioned the Inspector General of Police to investigate alleged cases of criminal breach of trust and forgery against the Indian firm in the Transformer deal. Arise News gathers that trouble started when Transformers and Rectifiers Limited secured a contract to supply Transformers to the transmission company of Nigeria in a World Bank-funded project midwife by their Nigerian agents. The petitions allege that after using the Nigerian firm to secure the job, the Indian firm failed to pay the agreed commission, which triggered a legal battle between the two parties in 2020. However, in the last three years, representatives of the company have refused to honor police invitations or court proceedings. It is to effect their extradition into the country that the Nigerian police through the Interpol National Central Bureau, after receiving the petition and carrying out their investigation, placed Jatindra Mantura and Satyan Mantura on red notice, which led to the arrest of Jatindra in Italy. However, after the detention of Jatindra, he moved to India and Indian Interpol notified Interpol Nigeria of his arrival and requested that Interpol Nigeria follow diplomatic channels for the extradition of the suspect. Ahead of court proceedings on the 15th of April, where the said Indians alleged to have refused to honor police or court invitation, have presently filed an application to strike out the charges against them. The Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Fagbimi, has signed a Nigeria police extradition request. Another complaint against the Indians by the petitioners is for alleged forgery of a court affidavit in Nigeria. A source familiar with the case says the suspects never entered Nigeria to depose to the said affidavits but claimed to have signed same before the Commissioner of Oaths in Nigeria. As the court resumes sitting, the litigants are hoping that the suspects will be successfully extradited so justice can prevail. Ferdinand Droha, Arise News.